Hey you guys, it's me Donald. Um, I'm doing my first live, or not live, but my first YouTube video for my uh, little micro urban homestead. I've always dreamed of having one and turning it into one and calling it Eagle Allen um, I don't know, Homestead, I don't know. But Eagle Allen combines my mother's and my father's family names. So uh, today I'm doing something I never thought I would do, and that is harvesting the black walnuts from the horribly tall... So that's our black walnut tree that's been here pretty much all my life. A friend of mine posted on Facebook that they had a corn husker or sh shredder or something like that that they actually were using for the... Um, <clears throat> walnuts, black walnuts, and offered to loan it to me. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, um, I don't know how to flip this around. Hmm. I wonder what that does. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, there's the ancient machine. And so it's pretty basic. You just crank the handle and uh, it kind of shells the walnuts. So I'm gonna show you what those look like after they've been shelled. Well, before, they're like this. This is a smaller one. We have huge walnuts and small ones. Just had a couple more drop off the tree. And then after you crank it through, they look like this. And then you have to put them in water, wash them a little bit. And um, then you, the ones that float, don't have anything in them. The ones that sink have nuts in them, so that's what we're about to do. So I don't know how to pause this. Uh, I'm so much better at Facebook Live videos. So I wish I knew what that button did. Let's see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my. Oh, there we go, that's better. Okay, so anyway, so I'm gonna put my glove on. I'm gonna try to edit this out in just a second, so hold on. All right, so actually I'm gonna stop this one and then I'm going to come back and start a second video with it the other way, so hold on. All right, we are back. I have it faced the opposite direction now. So you can see there's the machine. So all you do is you put the walnut inside of it and you kind of crank it. Have to push it down a little bit. I don't have a stick, so I've been using my hands. So I'm gonna set this down and pause, actually. Yeah, so set it. All right, so once you kind of push it down, you're able to do that, see? And kind of take that meat off. And it, it works, for sure. Sorry if that's killing your ears, but it's definitely worked. You gotta go over a couple times sometimes. Make sure it's all out. And it just comes out right there. Plop. You pick it up, put it in your bucket. Now we're going to come over here. This bucket of water. Dump them in there. Oh, we got a lot of floaters. Floaters are bad. Floaters have no nuts in them. We're just gonna toss those out. It's a floater. And do we even get any? Oh, yes. So now we're just going to kind of wash the nastiness off. And you see that I have gloves on because walnuts are highly, highly staining. In fact, a friend of mine is coming over to get some. Look at that. Look how clean that is. Much better. We're not done yet. Uh, but I'm not able to get in there with both my hands and hold the camera. Put them in my other bucket. And uh, whoopsies. Eventually I'm gonna spread them out. And hopefully, whoops, water got right in there. So now my hand is back. Pour that water out. Uh, hopefully I'll have some good black walnuts. I've gotta let them dry out for a couple of weeks so that I can then shell them. And hopefully be able, oh, we got quite a few actually. Hopefully I'll be able to use these black walnuts to bake with this summer, or this winter. So, sorry this is such a bad video. This is my first YouTube video with my homestead project. Uh, I'll be doing some more. I'll show you some more of the black walnuts later, but this is what we're doing for now. So have a great day. Thanks for suffering through this video with me. 
I hope they'll get better and talk to you later. Bye-bye.